Hey, what's up guys? It's Benjamin Stolmeis here, back again, doing a video. And today, we're doing some ice PvP on my ice wizard. So last episode of this series, I did get vet on this guy. So I'm kind of happy that we got vet. And yeah, I'll just see you guys when I get in a match. See you guys then. Alright guys, so we're back. We're fighting Samuel Shadowhammer. Uh, I don't know what up is up with his stitch, but I mean, he is a corporal. I think he's a storm wizard. Let me just check to make sure if he is a storm wizard. Yeah, he is. And I don't have a stun block first turn, so... I mean, I could look in my side deck for one. Hold on. But I think the best thing for me to do is just to uh, shield. He could storm ward me, but then again, he's wasting off his pips if he does that, so... I'm just gonna shield just to be safe. Typical would stun block first, though, against a storm wizard. But I don't know what is up with this guy because he has a weird stitch. It could just be like a, a you know like a little thing to throw people off. Huh. Okay. I'm thinking. Maybe I should fall this because it gives us pierce. I don't know. Looking at my side deck. I don't want to like. I'm going to stun because I have nothing else to do. So might as well just try to stun because I can't do anything else this round. And I shouldn't really pass up on a round, you know what I mean? But I prefer for that to be a winter moon, honestly. Oh my god. I know I have stun blocks in here. Oh, there we go, there's a stun block, okay. Took me about three rounds to find a stun block, but we got it now at least. I mean, he hasn't stone mold me yet, though. Alright. That's okay, actually. I don't know why he would do that. Um, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna fall this this turn. Because I believe if I did this spell right here, I believe since it is a tre treasure call that the shields should stack. So I'm going to do that next turn if he hits me this turn. Because I need to get rid of his shield. So I'm thinking if I can do that next turn, that if he does hit me, I have another shield. And he's not going to hit me. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't want to stack my shields or anything, you know what I mean? But I got I to gotta hit him though. Here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, sun stuff at him, snow stuff at him, and I'll probably waver him next. Since I do have a shad. Unless he hits me, I don't know. Yeah, he striked, okay. This is okay, though. I'm gonna waver him, because he's probably gonna try to bug me or something, right? So this will probably be in my best interest to do. Plus, I don't know what he's thinking. Like, he's not going to kill me through a strike either. Because I have a lot of resist on. And I critical. This is going to do a decent amount right here. 2k. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Through a, uh, aura. Oh my god. This actually... Okay. This likes my computer, but this has actually been a strat that I see people have been using a lot. Uh, in my failure tournament that I did last week, a guy actually did use this, which I believe it multiplies the damage if you don't have any blades on or anything. So good thing I did shield. But now I'm lagging. I can't... They really do need to fix these spells, though. We're going to save that for one more turn. We're going to do this. This turn. I was thinking of what I should enchant, but I could get a Shadow Pip and I could Charisma him next. But if not, I'm going to Winter Moon him. Typically, this is where I would stun somebody, though. I'm hoping to pull a Reindeer Knight, but honestly, I'll just do this. Because I need to get rid of uh, his shield this turn. His back loss is going to do a decent amount, though, I think. Maybe, like, 500. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a wild bolt, so this ain't gonna do much. 2k? Eh, that's a decent amount, but not through a strike and, you know, another plus 10 pierce, you know, blade. I mean, he it, it did a lot, but not as much as it should have. Yeah, 500. 499. That's pretty decent. I think I'm gonna go in for Winter Moon. I mean, I should shield. I'm gonna shield because I'm not stunning him. If I was gonna, if he didn't have a stun block on, because I stunned him early on, I would have, you know, went to moon him. But he could bugs me or something. Yeah, this is an Arya Sultan right here. This is probably gonna do like 1k through a shield. 2k almost through a shield. Imagine if I did not have a shield on. How much that would have done. And he gets another Shadow Pip. Dude, I cannot pull a Shadow Pip to save my life right now. Like, look at this, dude. Look at this luck that I've been having. I'm just going to shield again. I don't think he has an another Iron Sultan. An insane bolt. Okay. Yeah, that probably just saved me a bit. Oh my god, thank you. <sighs> Finally, dude. I think this should save me right here, this waiver. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna want to moon him next. I think I should be fine. Yeah, I could have with this. It's not an enchanted one as the TC, so it may not kill. Yeah, see, it did not kill. It barely did not just kill. It's it's pretty close though. But I think a Winter Moon should kill. Alright. Thank you for making it to this part of the video. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys. And thank you for watching. And also, shout out to Jimmy Thunderpants. He's not a YouTuber or anything, but he just randomly found me in the arena. And he asked me if I was Benjamin Stormize. And I said yes. So shout out to him. I'll I, I, Hopefully he will comment on this video and I'll pin it for you. But thank you for watching, guys. As always, guys, see you guys in my next video.